Hand Loader Magazine. Welcome to our reloading room. Today we're taking a look at the RCBS Rock Checker Supreme Master Reloading Kit. The centerpiece of the kit is the RCBS Rock Checker Press. I've been reloading on one of these since I was about 10 years old and overall the design of the press has stayed pretty much the same. There's a few additions on this one like the primer catch tray, the priming system has changed over the years, but overall it really is a testament to how good the design of the press is. Also included with this kit is the RCBS Uniflow powder measure with case adapters, large and small, a case lube pad with case lubricant, and a really neat addition to this kit is the RCBS hand primer tool, which also has a flip tray, which is also how it feeds primers into the tool. There's a loading block included, and a nifty little set of Allen wrenches here. I have my original Allen wrenches from when I was a 10 year old boy and got one of these kits and they hold up pretty well. The Nosler reloading guide number eight is included and last but not least we have a balance beam scale. There's nothing particularly wrong with a balance beam scale However, I would like to have seen a digital scale included just for the ease of use, especially if you're a new hand loader and getting started. But with that said, it's a, all in all a very solid kit. So now that we've overviewed the kit, it's time to lubricate our cases and size our brass. We'll be using Federal Premium Unprimed Brass. And I noticed going through it, that there was a case in there with a split neck and this is why it's so important to always check your cases. It's not uncommon but it does happen even in new rifle brass. So we'll take our case lube, apply it to the included pad. These fresh pads always soak up quite a bit. Work that in with our fingers. Then we'll take our cases and roll them on the pad, lubricating them. Taking our neck brush, rolling it along the pad and lubricating the necks. Once our cases are lubricated, we'll start sizing. Inserting the case into the shell holder, running it into the die, and back out. Now that we have sized our last case, we're ready to move on to the next step. The press feels really great during the sizing operation and functions very well. One nice feature that's included with the master reloading kit is the RCBS hand priming tool. The tool comes set up to prime either large or small primers. Inside is a spring with a ram which you can swap out depending on your primer size. It utilizes the same shell holder as the press. You'll take your primer flip tray, make sure it's closed so the primers don't fall out, insert it into the hand primer tool, and rotate it so that the primers can move into the tool. Give it a little shake, make sure they're down there. Always point it away from your face, insert your case into the shell holder, and simply squeeze and you've seated your primer. The nice thing about these hand primers is it doesn't restrict you to the bench. You can sit in front of the TV and prime cases so long as you're careful. As you can see it's a pretty quick rapid process. This hand primer tool offers really good feel and great control while seating your primers.
Now that we've seated our last primer, we're ready to move on to the next step. So now we're back at the RCBS press and we'll walk you through how priming on this press works. So using our flip tray from the hand primer, we'll go ahead and take our piece of brass, run it up into the shell holder, take our primer, which you'll have to handle with your fingers, place it onto the primer cup, slowly lower, and insert the primer into the case. Of course, you'll have to handle the primers with your fingers. However, this is not mandatory as the hand primer is included. Both the press and the hand primer offer really good feel while you're seating your primers. And both operations are relatively quick and easy. So now we're going to go ahead and dispense our powder and weigh each charge on the included RCBS balance beam scale. So we'll dispense. Place it onto the scale. Make sure it's right where it needs to be. When using a balance beam scale, I really wish they would have included a trickler. A trickler would make this process a lot easier. Whenever using a balance beam scale, you want to make sure you look down and you're at eye level to ensure you're reading the scale properly. Once you get going and you know you're throwing consistent powder charges, most people will just take the case, place it underneath, and dispense powder. However, I still like to check every few charges and make sure that my throwing is in fact consistent. Once you get the hang of it, everything goes pretty quick and very smooth. So now we're back at the press for our final operation of seating our bullet and crimping. So we'll take our case, insert it into the shell holder, take a bullet, seat it on top as straight as we can eyeball it, run it up into the die, and adjust it down, our seating stem here. until we're close to our overall length. From there, which is not included in the kit, you'll need a set of calipers. This is a set of Metatoyos. You always want to make sure you have a good set of calipers. So we'll measure about how much further we need to go down and continue adjusting our seating stem accordingly. Check our overall length, which looks good. And from here, it's a very simple, repetitive process.
So now we have 10 rounds loaded up and we're ready to go to the range. This concludes the loading procedure for the RCBS Master Reloading Kit.